I want to apologize. This video got cut off and was never uploaded properly. So um, if you're just grabbing this, if you're just checking this video for the first time, this is a whole series on our quick start for Ableton Live. So make sure that you check out the first video in the series. So you might be asking yourself, what do you mean automate in the clip? Well, let's show you what I mean. And the way that you do that is you hit this little E down in the clip folder, in the clip window, and it will open up um, the envelopes window. Um, this is an editor that you can edit now any type of automation that you've assigned. So we want to assign and be able to edit and automate the filter frequency in the simpler instrument. If I hit shift tab, this is a this is a shortcut key you need to memorize. It's very helpful. We're going to go ahead and turn this filter on and we're going to turn turn the type to low pass 24 and I'm going to crank this frequency down a bit to around the 300 hertz and then now I'm going to hit shift this up again. in the envelopes window by clicking here. I'm going to make sure our ARP poly lead is selected. If you hit shift tab again, we're going to rename this to something more helpful. Command R, we'll just call this synth. Now shift tab again, and we hit here. We can notice here that the synth instrument then shows up. And I'm going to select the filter frequency. And I'm going to double click on this pink line, and it's going to give me little nodes if you see this. And then you can take the little nodes and then you can drag them and it will change the percentage of the filter frequency. Now, I'm just going to move some of them around and I'm going to press play here and you'll see and you'll hear what's happening to the synth part. I'm going to solo it, hit play. If you double click a node, it will disappear or be deleted. And basically we're just saying for the filter to open up um, and then be able to close down here. If you hit shift tab and you watch this section here and hit play, you'll see it automate. But let's make this sound a little bit better. Let's hear this in context now with the bass and the drums. All right, that's sounding all right. And we've got some more dynamic flavor to this thing, not just a static synth stab. Let's, let's add a little bit more, another effect to this just to give it a little more flavor. I'm going to hit shift tab and we're going to go over to our live devices and I'm going to go to audio effects and let's drag out a ping pong delay and drop it on this track. And I'll just play this, you can, and I'll solo it. And make sure overwrite is off when you hit play because if it's overwrite is on, it's going to record. Um, whatever this track if you hit play. So I'm going to make sure it's off, hit play. So you can hear what the ping pong's doing. It's adding a delay on each speaker, sorry, on each side of the stereo field. And I'm going to just dial this back and filter out some of the delay to give it some room. I don't want it to muddy up the lower end. <laughs> So that ping pong just gives us a little flavor. We can dial that in later, but it's just for fun. And that's about it. So we've added, um, so to review, all we did was we added another simpler instrument over in our live devices. Simpler here. And then we made a MIDI clip. We drew in some notes. We drew in some notes that were in the key that we were playing in. Uh, we added some clip automation. 
we added some filter frequency automation and the way that we found out what we were automating is if you click here in the envelopes window select the instrument you'll see a little pink box and that's what you know has been automated all of these parameters have not so if you hit filter frequency you can see our automation being drawn in here and that was affecting the filter frequency and then we simply added some ping pong delay to go to the next lesson lesson number four just click on this window up here or navigate to it on the right hand side of the YouTube player